Firstly, I'm delighted to be joined um, by Alexei Pushkov, who's a senior senator of the Russian Federation of Parliament here, um, a bit of an old hand for the Munich Security Conference. Well, I've been here since the last seven or eight years. Do you buy into this narrative that the world is becoming a more unstable and dangerous environment? Oh, definitely. Definitely. And I'm afraid that it has to do with two things. Uh, first, the United States uh, desperately tried to uh, remain uh, a leading uh, and, I would say, even a hegemonic power. And they don't have the capacity to do that. They've lost it in Iraq. They are losing it in Afghanistan. They are leaving well, What Syria. kind of capacity are you talking about? Military, or uh, economic, economic uh, the battle of ideas? Uh, information, everything. You see, the United States are used to the so-called unipolar moment, which uh, happened when the Soviet Union has fallen apart. So that was the victory of the United States. Some even said that it, it is the end of history. And um, the United States saw that now the world will be modeled according to their wishes. It's much more complicated. And so now we see that uh, Donald Trump actually tries to talk in a tough language with the Europeans, with Russia, with China, with Iran, almost with everybody, it, with Turkey, by the way. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work. A lot of people are talking tough at the moment, including your president. I mean, are you you're not without blame as a country for the destabilization of no, the I world, think, the Ukraine, no. for example, your involvement in Syria? Well, you're, I, not, look, you're not shy. You're not holding back about asserting yourself, are you? Well, Russia is a great power. And um, if Russian interests are endangered, it reacts in a certain way. And I don't think that... Uh, in this respect, we can be even, even closely compared to the United States, because in the last 20 years, the U.S. have uh, managed to organize four or five wars, and we're involved in um, nine or ten regime change from uh, Guatemala and Honduras to Ukraine. So Russia is, uh, has a very modest record in this respect. But nevertheless, it's trying some of those tactics as well, right? Uh, well, I wouldn't say so. In Syria, we did not play for regime change. We just supported the government which uh, is in power and recognized by the whole world, represented in the United Nations. In Iran, we support the government which is in power. Uh, we basically, I think, played a certain role um, in supporting uh, President Erdogan when there was a coup d'etat in Turkey. So we are for stability, we are not for destabilization. For destabilization, you have to look to Washington. Alexei, thank you very much for your time. It's Alexei Pushkov, senior senator from the Russian parliament. They're pushing back against what's a quite a dominant narrative here, uh, which is largely anti-Russian, I have to say. You must feel slightly aggrieved by that, but an opportunity for the Russian point of view to be put across uh, from, uh, from Alexei there.